twittering. There's two tweets that have gone out, which I'll, I'll explain, or retweets. Cause it's it's um, videos that I've found at home, Will 789 GB, and they do relate to the show, because assuming we know what we're talking about when we say there's a social media version of what we do, and radio is a part of that, uh, I don't think we really do have a good... It is called the We Don't Know show. So these these things, there's bits and pieces that that we can claim and then we'll see how it fits together later on. But um, if that's so, then we can move on and say that what's happening with, with learning moving online could follow a similar course. That's to say a lot of disruption followed by some sort of model that more or less works because uh, I think I think that's with music retail that's more or less happened well it's still it's still very unstable but it's not it's not as um, crisis driven as it was in 10 f- 15 so this is where it all be- starts to get difficult is putting dates on things I th- um, Anyway, the, 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 two, the two videos that I posted, the, f- the first one is Professor Stephen Heppel, keynote speech from EduLearning in 22, and that's quite short, shortly after the uh, lockdowns came, came to an end or were, were coming to an end, but he could still remember what happened, and he talks about a, a golden generation of people uh, people who were who, kids from schools who were sent home and who managed to cope with it or got something out of it and he thinks there's quite a lot of those people um, and he he thinks that going online uh, or having to be at home with uh, computers had some benefits that some things were discovered um, he talks he talks about um, the Second World War and schooling done as evacuation under very, very desperate circumstances. Uh, but still, some people came through it. For example, John Lennon, who uh, managed to learn something. Whether, whether what John Lennon knew was all on the syllabus, I'm not, not quite sure. But he, he, makes, he makes a very strong case about, about this, which, which all seems to have been forgotten. Um, Certainly, the the universities. Well, I don't know what's going to happen this 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 academic year, but the last academic year appeared to be back to back to normal, uh, as if the online thing was was gone. Um, so that's that's that one, and I'm I'm hoping that uh, when when we get to bet, which is in January or around bet because um, Rus- Russell Prue podcasts have started that somebody will ask Stephen Heppel what he thinks is going on at the moment um, if if there is any interest in, in what happened during the lockdown and what's happened to the, the uh, golden generation he was tracing and what he thinks is, is going to happen in, in the near future because the the other thing is that I think the the AI has has interrupted all these things and is speeding things up, and um, so the 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 other one is uh, discover the BA communications at Exeter University. So uh, if you if you if you if you don't want to find us on Twitter W E N O T N O, just search on YouTube for EduLearn Twenty Two Stephen Heppel and BA Communications, University of Exeter. And this is, this is interesting because it, it relates to digital humanities. There's a, a, a lab for digital humanities which has got a pretty good radio studio. They don't call it a radio studio, but it, it, it would work as such. And t- tomorrow on the drama show, I might talk about this a bit more, and... Uh, Try, try and find out how drama relates to it. It, it certainly relates to film, the Bill Douglas Centre, but I can't I can't see how the the drama uh, 
aspect fits fits in. So if, any, if anybody's got got clues about that, to tweet during this show before before twelve o'clock. Well, before about quarter to. Uh, to make any sense during this show, or we'll we'll find out over the next next while or while or so.